using shapes in Affinity Designer. With some of the shapes that you can create with Affinity Designer, you get extra controls. So for instance, on this one here, I'm going to create this cog. And with this cog, I can change the inner radius of this. So if I click on that button there, set the inner radius, I can move this slider up and down there and change the inner radius, as you can see there. I can also change the whole radius. So let's just click on this one up here and move this slider across. And that whole radius will go in and out as a percentage of the whole thing. Tooth size also can be changed. So once again, click on that button there and move that that way and that way. And you can see all the tooth size is changing. And I can even change the number of teeth that's on it as well. So tap on that one there and change that. And I've got uh, more teeth on there as I require. Let's, so let's have a lot of teeth on there. And we'll go for the inner radius being a bit smaller than that, uh, or a bit larger, I should say. And we'll move that out to there, make it more like a cog. And I can even change the notch size. So let's go to this one here, moving this one in and out. And that just changes that bit in there, as you can see what's going on there. So that's a nice little way of doing those sorts of changes to that one there. So let's see what else we can do with these here. So other ones have some changes that are available. Let's go to the donut. And with the donut, let's hold down the shift key, constrain it to a circle. And with this here, we don't have so many changes that we can make to it. I can change the size of the line. So if I want a thicker line with it, I can do that quite easily. I can change the whole radius. So at the moment it's set for 50%. I can change that so the whole radius is smaller or larger as I see fit. So if I want to put in something like a um, fountain fill in there, I can put a fountain fill in there. With the fountain fills, since we're on fountain fills, let's see what else we can do with that. So say I want to change this colour here, the, this end of it, I can grab a colour and put a colour in there. And if I want to change it the other end of it, just select it and click on that there. And the colour is changed as I do it. So that's a um, nice way to change colours. If I want to add a colour to the fountain, I click on that there and add the colour and you can see we've got a different colour in there. I can also change where the colour changes. So there you see the colour has been moved into that area there or I can move the whole colour up and down. So a couple of different ways you can change the colour within one of these gradient fills. You can also have different types of fills. So this one here is in a linear one. So if I want to go for an elliptical one I can change that. And with the elliptical one it changes in some slightly different ways. So there's the ellipse at the top there. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll move it over onto this one here and we'll go back to the fountain fill and put a fountain fill in there. Let's uh, put a radial fill in there. Move the centre of the radius into there. Move that up there. So you can see I've got the radius fill there. The that dot there is the radius. And I can put another colour in there. So. Let's go back to this end one. We'll leave that colour the same and the put a dark colour in there. So you can get more of an idea of how this radial works. And I can move that colour up there so I can have the dot in the middle a little bit smaller. And that would be quite good if I did that inside a circle. I'll make it the circle look more like a sphere. And then we have, apart from the radial one, we've got the conical one. And I'll never find the conical one that much that useful indeed but it's uh, something there that you could use if you wanted to and okay so you can see where the changes have been made there so you move that around the circle to change where the changes of the colour occur that's the conical one and then we've got the bitmap so with the bitmap you can obviously pick a bitmap from some place or other so let's choose this and I'll put the bitmap in there and I've got a picture in there which is from a photograph that I took and I can change the uh, way that fits in there and there you go. I've got a bitmap as a fill in there and that comes from the using the fountain fills. So there you go, there's one or two more things you can do with these uh, shapes and with the fountain fills. Affinity Designer Mac 20Q Tutorials.